All right, guys. Right now we're gonna go over the complete and easy way to install Linux. Uh, Ubuntu 12.04. We go through the full process here. It's a lot easier than you might think. Um, first of all, well, that happens sometimes. Actually, it's kind of irritating, but uh, you, it, it still works fine. Anyways, all you do is follow the instructions. I'm just gonna go over the few. There's a few snags that you hit, but just start here, and then download the terminal app in the VNC viewer, which I believe I already have here. Let me just double check. Well, I guess I'm not as imp prepared as I thought here. So anyways, you download these two things. You have everything that you need to get going here, except for the image. So, the first thing that actually you should do is just download the image based on whichever one you want. It does take a little bit of while and I a little bit of time and I do recommend doing it over Wi-Fi but um, anyways I got the large image because I, I want the full version so it's very simple you open this complete Linux installer application up um, you can get that from the market just like any other app open that up you come here right away go to the install guides we're doing 12 right now page do everything on all these pages this stuff you can read it but I'm going to show you what you need to do for page three and four right now so first of all you go to launch or actually after you have everything in, installed the image the VNC viewer and the um, terminal emulator you're going to want to go into your file manager um, you're going to get the image is going to be in your downloads folder and it's going to be something you need to extract. So, what you're going to want to do is extract it to the root of your SD card. I did it on my external SD card into a folder called Ubuntu. You're going to need about 4 gigs. I would say if you do the full version, just to be safe, I mean, I, I would prefer to have like a 16 gig card with nothing on it because then you can install apps and stuff like that but I just got a 4 gig here so once it's probably going to be on your internal memory if if you have multiple storages it's going to be in your download folder you're going to want to extract it as I said and you're going to want to put it into the folder called Ubuntu and that's all there is to that so once you have that put where it needs to be on, on the root of your folder and in and an Ubuntu folder Jeez. then you head over to your complete Linux seller go to launch and now you're gonna need to edit it to find the the path that you put it in so I have mine on the external simple as that now you go to start Just gonna request for this super user here. You're gonna want to allow that. What in the world is that? Hmm. Good to know. So once you get to this part here, it's gonna ask you to put in a password. I've already done it, so it's not asking me that. So when you when you type it in you're not it's not going to show up at all it's just going to be blank it's going to look like you're not typing anything you just type ubuntu and then press enter and that's going to ask you to do it again type the same thing press enter then from there it's going to ask you if you want to start the vnc server you press y enter do you want to start ssh shell or something like that you press uh or yeah the secure shell i think it is um oh yeah sshd you're going to want to press Y and OK to that. And after you're done with all that stuff, 
I wish I could have shown you that, actually, but it's very simple. Um, anyways, once you do that stuff, you go over to your VNC viewer. And you're going to put that password in. Ubuntu that you did earlier. And then you leave it on this port. You can put a nickname if you want. There's not really any point. Um, you're going to want to put it to 24-bit color. And then connect. Bam. This doesn't really matter. Um, now when you're in here, you have settings that you're going to want to mess with. I like to use a touchpad because then it's just like a touchpad on a laptop. It's very simple, easy to use. Um, if you long press, that's how you're going to bring up your keyboard. I had a problem with that at first. I had no idea how to get that keyboard up. but Just long press and you press that middle button there and you're good to go and now once you're in Linux you can pretty much do whatever I mean it's not gonna work a hundred percent but oh yeah I forgot I'm on a touchpad here but it's definitely gonna let you do it. it's gonna give you a good a good feel of it you know so that's that um, I might just do a new video of the same thing that um, that's actually from scratch so you can see how it how it goes from the beginning I, I didn't really realize that I had everything done um, I don't know I haven't been on here in a while so I don't know if it gets views and you guys want need more help or better explanation I'll definitely redo it um, but yeah Hope you guys at least learned a little bit of something. And thanks for watching.